What you say, ladies and gents, it is your boy, Bacat Sam, and wow, what a game of football. The AFCON has begun, and it did not disappoint. What a game of football. There is so much to unravel, so much to discuss. What a corker of a game. Cameroon came out on top, 2-1 against Burkina Faso. What a game of football. There was entertainment, there was everything. 24 seconds, and there was a yellow card straight away. There was so much to unravel, so much to discuss. There was three yellow cards and three goals. Two penalties, VAR controversy, there was everything you'd want from a football game. So straight away, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. It does really help. But yes, what a game of football. Abubakar. Vincent Abubakar clutched, came through and scored those two penalties. And I love the... It's so confident and so arrogant. I love the way when people take penalties like this. It's Jorginho style, when or even Ivan Tony. The confidence he had in that moment as the host nation going down 1-0 so early on against Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso, not the favourites. I love the way he took those penalties away. But I want to discuss straight away that first goal for Burkina Faso. It kind of came from completely against the run of play. Something no one was expecting. And I want to discuss Anana. It was awful goalkeeping from him, straight away. So the ball comes out to uh, Bertrand Troyore on that right-hand side, and we knew straight away Bertrand Troyore is the danger man in that squad. He is the main, the biggest attacking force in that strike, in that, in that attacking sense. And he's got a strong left foot, that's all he's got. And I don't understand why, the reason why I think they struggled at the start with Faso is because he kept coming so deep, wanting the ball all the time. And you saw the one moment where he was right up the other end of the pitch. They score, he whips in that ball, what a delivery. And I think that's, yes, Onana was at fault, but I think the ball was so brilliant. So the ball was whipped into that back post. Onana comes racing out, jumps out to try and flap at it. There's no need. Unless you are certain, you stay on your line. There was no need for him to come out like that. He jumps and he's nowhere near it. I thought he was really poor, especially from a keeper I've heard so much of in recent years. A keeper that's supposedly very good. I thought, yes, he did mess up there. And then the finish... From Sangare, what a finish. The way he took that, he couldn't have put it any further in the top corner. What a goal. And then Burkina Faso, they've got the goal against the run of play. The pressure then is on Cameroon. You know they're going to come at you. Then Cameroon didn't really offer anything, really, then for the rest for the rest of the half, really, until the last five minutes. And then it just went to pot for Burkina Faso. A side that had looked so resilient, defensively solid. They were getting numbers back, sitting behind the ball, let Cameroon fizz it around. They were just... Happy, they would start. We'll stay here then. And then Bertrand Troyore in his own box. A stupid challenge on Anguessa. A really, really, really stupid challenge. I don't know how the referee didn't see it. He's about 10 yards away. It's definitely a penalty. That was completely the right decision. And as I said, Abubakar. Brilliant finish. And then the next penalty from Dayo. What are you doing? I don't understand what he's trying to do. It's so late. It's so reckless. In your own box, he really needs to look at himself. And the thing is, both goals came from two mistakes. Overall, I thought Burkina Faso were the better side. Yes, Cameroon a lot of the ball, but Burkina Faso attacked with purpose. There was an end product. That's the one thing I'd be worried. Cameroon had got a good side, but there was no end product. Every time, yeah, they kept the ball. They had 60% possession throughout the game. But chances-wise, they only had four shots on target, whereas Burkina Faso had six. That's the thing. I think every time Burkina Faso attacked, it went through Birch and Traore, and there was, there was speed with it. It was direct, whereas... Obviously, as I was playing Cameroon, we're just passing it around the back. But that is their style of play. They got the win in the end of the day. I can't really slate them for it. But I would be worried if I was supporting Cameroon in this competition because I don't think you're going to get two mistakes like that from a defence and being given such a big chance to, to get a win there. Um, the offside decision for Abubakar's third goal, obviously, it's so tight with the naked eye. I couldn't... Couldn't tell what was going on. I wish VAR was a lot faster because that was the controversy. We were just left in the unknown for a good three minutes and they weren't saying anything. They didn't show it you, whereas in the Premier League you'd be showing it. We were just sat there just like, oh, okay, are we going to find out? That is the problem. But I'd be worried as a Cameroon fan. Take, the only thing I can take from that is that lack of conviction. Vincent Abubakar is a very, very good striker. He... He didn't offer much going forward other than the penalties. And I can't... I know it sounds like I'm analysing this too much because they did get the win, what they needed. But then this could be a good sign of a side that doesn't play well but still gets a win because that is the way to win these knockout tournaments, it, especially in the group stage. If you can play poorly and still get results, that's a, that is a good sign. I, I know it sounds ridiculous. That is a good sign. But overall, I want to highlight a few players that I thought were outstanding. My favourite player 
was Ibrahim Blat. Uh, I don't know why I struggled then. Blatty Torre, Torre, sorry. The holding midfielder for Burkina Faso. The energy he showed, I thought, was class. He was great on the ball, left footed, and he was constantly on the ball, especially in that first half when that first 10 minutes where Burkina Faso just looked all over the place. He was the man who they went to every time. He took the ball and he moved it on. 88% passing accuracy. I thought he was very good. Obviously, as well, alongside him, uh, Adama Gura, I thought was really, really good as well. But you've got to give it, man of the match, really, to Abubakar. But I can't give it. I'm not going to give it to Abubakar. I can't. I don't think he offered anything other than the goals. But then that's what wins you tournaments. That's the thing. I sound ridiculous. I know I do. But you get what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Let me know what you thought of the game. I thought this is this game celebrated African football, put it on the map. This is everything you could want from an opening game in a tournament. Three goals, two penalties, VAR controversy, yellow cards, big challenges. It's everything football is about. And as I said, this tournament is new to me. I've never watched this before and I'm all over this. I absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait to give you more content from the African Cup of Nations. Hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my analysis. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't anyway for lots more, and I mean lots more African Cup of Nations content. But yes, book out Sam over and out. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye. Pshh.